Hey what is up guys ApeSwab8 and today I'm back with another PlayStation 3 hacks video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install RetroArc on your hen. Alright um so I showed you guys how to install um, uh, RetroArc on your PlayStation Rebug but I never showed you how to do on hen. So let me just take you to a brother's you know YouTube channel real quick. Now this is my boy I Naruto the Revenge. I, he's a good YouTuber you know shout out to him he be making these videos right. Um so you know shout out to him so i'm be and mind you guys i'm be leaving all the links in the description so you don't need, like you don't need to search them up or anything i mean if you want to search them go ahead search them up search up you know sub 10 all right i'm all for that all right but uh i'm just gonna make this because his video is a little long i'm just gonna make it a little shorter all right guys uh mind you i am gonna have download links in the description all right all right guys so first things first we downloading retro Arc. All right, all you gotta do is press that link. Uh, I'm gonna have the link in my video, so you don't worry about it. All you gotta do is press that link so you can download it. All right, boom. Um, all that other stuff he had in the links is stuff like multi man. If you don't have multi, I don't know if, if you don't have multi. If, if you guys are watching my video, you should have multi man installed. Um, you know, he has uh, basically multi man allows you to access it. All right, access to files and stuff like that. Now, this is a uh, GUI format. This is the thing I use. All you gotta do is click on this and it starts to download. I don't need it because I already have it. I'm gonna keep this, all right? You can, it's, it might say, you know, it's a virus or anything like that. Don't worry about it, guys. It's not a virus, all right? It's not a virus, I guarantee you. So yeah, um, if, you, if you guys do not have GUI format already, press download, click on that. I'm gonna leave the link down below, all right? Now, we're gonna go to the USB. All right, let me plug in my USB right now. All right, as you can see, guys, my USB is in, is in the thing. As you can see, now if you guys haven't already, you must format your USB. All right, all right. So all you gotta do is left click it, format, go to FAT32, and press start. Now, guys, mind you, it will delete everything in your USB. So make sure you you know, like if there's anything you know you want, you have that support, you back it up. I'm not gonna do it because I already did it. I'm just showing you guys what you would do. Now after that, you wanna format it again the same exact way. Left click it, I mean right click it, format again, all right, same exact way. After that, you wanna format it one more time using GUI format, if you guys don't have it already. Press that. You pick what, whichever one it is, I believe it's E. Basically it's E. And then you press start. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. I'm not going to delete everything. All right. So now you just want to simply take your downloaded retro arc. Oops, sorry. And put it straight onto your USB after you're finished, you know, um, formatting and stuff like that. All right. So while it's doing that. You're also gonna wanna put in your ROMs. Now you just wanna make a quick ROMs folder, all right? You know, you gotta, oh, I already put my ROMs in this bit. All right, so yeah, you just wanna make a quick ROMs folder. You can make a GBA, NES. It doesn't really matter how you put, how you sort it out, you know. But as you can see, I already have my ROMs in here. So you, you know, just wanna put your ROMs in the folder. All right, bros, so after you're done, you know, installing everything you need to USB, uh, you just want to right click your USB and press eject make sure you don't pull it out because if you pull it out you might damage the usb and you don't want to do that all right guys so now we're gonna hop on the ps3 so catch you on the ps3 all right bros now that you're on your ps3 make sure you enable him we're going to enable him right now all right never forget to enable him all right guys you cannot do anything on ps3 when you have hen without enabling hen you need to enable him i cannot stress it enough bros all right yes close the browser all right, now all you have to do, all right, bros, is you want to go into, ooh, I, I, I missed it. You want to go into package manager, install package files, standard, and then this is where you download your packages. Now I'm going to install my retro arc. You can also install multi man from the same exact place. As you can see, I have multi man, but I already installed it. I'm going to install it again. But I will be leaving links down below in the description so that you know. Um, so that you can get you can get it as well and install it as well right and this will take a little while so let's wait for that to finish 
Alright bro, it's finally done installing. It did take a while, I'm not gonna lie. My PS4, my PS3 controller turned off. <laughs> Alright, so after it's done installing, here it is bros. Alright, so let's get straight. Let's let's look at it real quick. Alright guys, so once you see this, that means that you have successfully installed Retro Arc. It's really not that hard, honestly. <laughs> I think you might be able to install them straight from the USB. Yes, you can install them straight from the USB, guys. Oh, that's amazing. As you can see, you can install them straight from the USB. So you don't even need multi-man. Like I was saying, back then, you would actually need to drag and drop from multi-man um, the games from the USB to the PS3. But now, it's so much simpler, so much easier. All you need to do is scan your USB and you can install it straight to RetroArch, bros. So just give it a little while and it will install the games. Alright, so let's get back to it in like five, to t like five minutes. Also, bros, one clear indicator that you know that it is downloading. Uh, bottom left corner, you see it says scanning and those are all the games. Those are all my games, by the way. Just want to let you guys know. Alright, bros, it finally finished scanning all the files. So, let's go check on it right now. So, you just want to, you know, just want to press circle on that, press circle on that, keep pressing circle. And boom, bros, as you can see, it has all of my games here. Alright? F it. We're running, we're running Mario, bros. And you just want to keep pressing X on that. It's gonna, it's gonna basically do its thing for you guys. All right. So I don't know, bro. I didn't even know that shit, but you know the audio, the audio is working out. I guess you gotta set up the game. I never really played this game before, to be honest, like that, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Mario, Super Mario Bros. Are we gonna play a little bit of this bit? We are, we, look, look, let me show you this shit. We on P3 right now. We on the P3 right now. You see that? Look, see P3. Uh, just, just letting y'all know. So, if you want, you can also, you know, configure, you know, change the configuration. But I think you gotta hold the. I think you have to hold select. Nah. Yeah, press start. Nah. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, yeah. So look, you gotta press R3 and L3 at the same time to activate this menu, so that you can, you know, you, know, you can get it to um, um, this menu and do a couple different shits. Uh, now look. I think there's a way to to speed up the game. Hold up, let me see real quick. All right, guys. So I found it. So you just want to like it's gonna be. I think you're gonna be somewhere here. You just want to keep, keep pressing circle until you get out of here. And then you want to go to the settings, right? You want to go down to input. Press on input, and this is where you're gonna see your controls, right? Um, and you want to go down until you see hotkeys. I mean hotbinds. So here it says fast forward toggle. I'm not sure about the the fa um. I'm not gonna do that. I'm doing fast. Yeah, I'm gonna do fast forward talk. So you just wanna press X on that, and it's gonna say pick. Um, you know, you you want you want to pick something that you know you, you like you don't use. So I'm picking L2. All right. Now it's saying that this is gonna be, you know, the function. I did it, right? I pressed it. Yeah, let me see that. Oh, okay. You gotta press and hold. My fault, guys. You gotta press and hold the the button that you want to use. So I, I press and hold L2, and now that's that. Um, save state, you guys are gonna need a save state because sometimes it does be messing up, so you're gonna need a save state. So let's just hold the, the start button. Hold that start button, alright, and load state as well. So hold that, that left button. Um, you could also do it from here. I know you can load it from, um, I'm not sure, I think it's quick menu right here. Yeah, quick menu. You can load, you can load, uh, you can save a state, you can load a state, you know, like that, or you can just press it real quick. So let's get back into the game. You just got, you wanna press. L3 and R3 again, and now we're back in the game. Um, did it just freeze? Oh, okay, no, no, it was just okay. It's good, it's good. All right. So as you can see, the game is working perfectly fine. You can also switch it, you know, by pressing that. You can switch to any game, any other GBA game or NES games, and that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. All right, guys, catch you next one.